Welcome into the Cowboys Report. What is kind of turning into a fairly newsworthy day continues. Gary on Conley, if you watched our short, has retired from the Cowboys. They released him earlier today as a basically same time type of move. In addition to Conley retiring, they now have a new corner in the building. Well, new ish. Keeman Hall has been claimed off of waivers from the San Francisco 49ers. A North Texas product, he is coming back for his second stint with the Dallas Cowboys. This is not a move to, you know, have a clear-cut player who's going to you know, compete for playing time as a starter. This is just, you need a body. You've got 90-man roster limits. You're trying to fill that number. You're trying to have players who are available for you to get through the preseason, through training camp, because Trayvon Diggs is not going to play in the preseason. Jordan Lewis is not going to play. Deron Bland's not going to play. All of a sudden, you're, you know, nine, eight corners, whatever, kind of gets dwindled down a little bit quicker to where you don't have as many third-string guys. And the corners and receivers, especially in camp, those guys are running. I mean, it is nonstop. It's it's constant back and forth down the field over and over again so you probably would have a little bit of extra depth there than you would other positions in most cases so not overly surprised the Cowboys have added a corner uh they take advantage of Keeman Hall being waived by San Francisco like a day I think it was a day ago they added another receiver they release Hall now Hall comes back to the Dallas Cowboys. So we'll talk about him, his role with the organization. We will also discuss where things sit with Sam Williams. Uh, as of filming, I do think, A, we're pretty close to getting details uh, on what happened there for Sam Williams, but TBD on that front. It is an at-home video. Um, it doesn't look great behind me, but you know, it is, it is what it is there. But this is why you guys subscribe. News happens, we make a video for you. Even if it was supposed to be my club championship weekend, I got eliminated early because those guys are way better than me. So if you haven't already, hit that sub button right now. Uh, this is the second stint for Keeman Hall. Uh, he had signed back in late 2020 uh, to the practice squad, brought back on a futures deal, and then basically made it to like around the draft. I made mean, it like May or something. So he didn't spend a lot of time with the Cowboys um, but they clearly had some familiarity with him in the building and adding him just to fill out the back of the roster. A little bit of an older veteran or older young guy to an extent, if that kind of makes sense, that you typically see signing on the time. Let me see super, super young guys. He was 2019 draft pick or undrafted free agent, I should say. So a little bit older than what you typically see there. So give me your one word reaction to the signing. Uh, it's going to be the pinned comment on today's show. If the ad comes on YouTube. It's fine. Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. My one word is body. You know, you, you don't need to have Keeman Hall playing a huge role for you. In fact, it'd probably be a huge red flag if he was. Kalen Carson, the nice interception today, also got beat on a deep ball. That's how it's going to go for a first-year player. It's probably a good thing that you're getting beat and allowing play, or making plays. It means it's not one-sided, right? C.J. Goodwin is a special teamer. Nishan Wright, Josh Butler, Eric Scott. We'll see where Israel Mukwamu plays. Josh DeBerry can play corner two. So it's a bit of a thin group uh, overall once you know that Diggs and Bland and Lewis are not going to play. Carson, Wright, and Scott are probably your next three in some ordering. And then you kind of get down to the third team and a little bit thin there. And you're, you're going to need that third team in the preseason. So not overly surprised they went out and added another corner. He has just 21 career defensive snaps. That is it. He has not been a key contributor on the defensive side of the football. 334 special team snaps. Now pretty much all of those coming in two years with the Chargers where he was before the Niners had him this past year. He's not a, he's not a, a superstar player. He's, he's, he's a body. He's a camp body, right? And I don't mean that to be negative because you need camp bodies, but that's that's who he is. His career path uh, after getting waived by, or coming out of North Texas, I should say, Chargers 2019, stuck with Minnesota from 2019 to parts of 2020. The Saints are parts of 2020. The Cowboys is parts of 2020. Then the Chargers brought him back. So it's kind of funny. Uh, this is going to be the seventh stint with an NFL team that Keeman Hall has been on. And four of those stints were with two teams. Yeah, Chargers from 2021 and 2022. The Niners this past season as the Cowboys just get a camp body in there in the cornerback room. He's not going to make the raw strike. Well, that maybe he can impress. Maybe he can impress and make the the practice squad, right? Uh, that 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 would be the I think the, the goal for him 
uh, in the end. Also, might have misspoken. I think the 2019 season when he had a decent amount of his special team snaps, by the way, for the two stints uh, with the Chargers. The other big news of the day, uh, a, well, beyond, you know, Gary on Conley signing uh, or retiring, which kind of came out of nowhere, um, hence the need to go get another corner. Not sure why. Maybe we'll learn why. Maybe we won't. But he joins the ranks of Cowboys legends, right? Yeah, that's just kind of never made a lot of sense there. Let's move here to Sam Williams, latest on the Cowboys young pass rusher. Is feared to have torn a torn, or have a torn ACL, excuse me. That's not officially confirmed yet, but modern medicine technology is pretty good, and you're normally able to get a pretty good feel when it happens for what the injury was. If you didn't catch our short, here's what happened earlier today. Williams goes down somehow with a left apparent left knee injury, which I guess now it is a left knee injury. We know that. Uh, at, during a special teams drill, has to get caught off the field, seemed to be in pain. Last update, as of filming, the fear is a torn ACL. That is not uh, confirmed. The MRI, I think, is actually ongoing right now, or it, they're waiting for the full results, whatever. But it doesn't, it doesn't sound good for Sam Williams. So what is your concern level over losing the Cowboys' number three pass rusher? Scale it for me from 1 to 10 in the comment section. 1, of course, is the low end. 10 is the high end. I'm not, like, individually, torn ACL is really bad. Team-wise, it's still pretty high. You you were banking on a big year from Sam Williams. You were banking on him being a huge contributor, having a breakout third season, Mike Zimmer getting the most out of Williams, and now a couple days into camp, his season's over, assuming the torn MRI ends up being the reality. That sucks. That sucks for the player. That sucks for the team. I feel bad for him. I think we all should I feel bad for the Cowboys. I think they need to go find another pass rusher. Darrell Johnson, Tyrus Wheat, Byron Vaughns. You, got, you guys trust those to be your number three a pass rusher? Is Fajoko going to be a DE or a DT? I think another dude is needed on, on that pass rushing group. So we'll break this down on tomorrow's live show. Some available options. Guys like Carl Lawson. Unique in Gakwe. I think you can find a veteran pass rusher. Sam Williams was mostly going to be a pass rusher. I think you can still find that type of role, even if maybe they're lacking a little bit in the run defensive side of it. So I think that's a good move for the Cowboys. They'll put Williams on IR whenever they officially do all that stuff there. Again, the, the news here kind of multifold today. Sam Williams feared to have, to have a torn ACL. Cowboys sign a new corner in Keeman Hall. Gary on Conley retires. It's been a busy day for the Cowboys. Uh, and this is on a Sunday, no less. And this is why you subscribe. News happens. We've done like three shorts today and, and another video and this one too. So, which I did I did refilm in the middle of it because I was about to push it and Sam Williams, uh, you know, confirmed fear kind of came out. So we redid a little bit there. But this is why you subscribe. So if you haven't already, hit that sub button right now.